Marie Angel? Yeah, I I did some uh, you... courses and I've been training myself because that is one of my passions and I'm planning to to certify myself or, or do, it, do it as a career very soon. I want to start like to be making a career for me, but I, I've been practicing a lot and I've been training to get the, the best recipes and the best uh, quality products to my pastry shop. I have a pastry shop uh, on Instagram. It's like my entrepreneurship in Venezuela and I'm really proud of that because that is something that we give sweet smiles, uh, sweet treats for special occasions. Wow, I have to try your delicious pastries. I cannot wait to have them. <laughs> Kindly bring some to Florida, some cookies. I've been planning to do that. I've been thinking about it really serious and, and I will ask if I am able to do that because of the pandemic and on some of the restrictions. I think that cannot happen at least this year, but I will try to do my best to give at least, uh, I at least just said, wow, well, one cookie, no matter if it's just one. Sounds for good. You to yes, I was to try, I want to try your cookies and also, why do you think that people choose a red velvet versus banana muffin? No, I'm just kidding. What, what is the, what is the, uh, give yeah, us? but <laughs> that is definitely two of my favorite ones, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, so I have to, those are my favorite too, banana muffin and then also red velvet, but I don't eat nuts. So, you know, if you can make me banana muffin without nuts, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that for you. All right, sounds good. And I heard you have a campaign of give a little sweet smile. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, give a sweet smile. It's a campaign that I developed with my pastry shop. It was like just a crazy idea. I came up with a foundation that was in my hometown. They were celebrating a birthday of children's at hospitals and in and some uh, grandfathers on uh, nursing homes. So uh, I found that interesting and I found that I could help them just baking some cakes each month wow. to celebrate the, the birthdays of, of that month. And that uh, started before the pandemic. So we had to stop the campaign because of, we cannot access to the hospitals and nursing homes anymore. But I hope that I can uh, come back and, and take that activity again very soon. Wow, you have such a beautiful heart. You know, you're not only beautiful from the outside, but your heart is more beautiful. That's why you're glowing from the inside out. So I'm very proud of you. And another thing, um, you know, since you love baking, right? Since you are a, a pastry chef, yeah. did you ever think, did you ever imagine what your wedding cake will be? My cake for what? For your wedding, for your wedding, did you ever think of like oh, what kind of wedding cake are you gonna do I for yourself? Yeah. About it. Yeah. Well, I have done my birthday cake since I don't know since I can't remember. And actually, this year I, I my birthday was last week, and this year I think it's oh. the, the only year that I haven't baked a cake for me because there were so many cakes as gifts, so I didn't bake one for me, but. For my wedding i don't know i haven't thought about that but i can consider something like banana or vanilla flavor with orange something like that very very sweet and very simple but with a special essence and a special taste that's good sweet and tangy but with a twist right yeah yeah that's good and also you are a psychology uh, major like i how proud of you uh, you know, doing a lot of things at the same time. You are a psychology graduate, and then now you are a certified pastry chef. Like, how uh, proud are you that you were able to accomplish both? Well, I'm that kind of person who doesn't like to be doing nothing. I mean, I, I feel like I can be multifaceted sometimes, and I like to uh, to take advantage of the whole time and, and do a lot of things and, and yeah, take advantage of the time because I think time is valuable and you have to to always make that time precious. So I decided to take some time to do a little bit of everything that I, I love. And I've been a student psychology because it's one of my passions since I was a young 
I've been reading a lot of books about self-help and, and it wow. has helped me a lot to go through different experiences that I had in my life and that make me become the woman that I, I am today. So I'm really proud because I think I can be an example of that you can do whatever you want in your life exactly. and you just have to start working and start taking action because there is time for doing everything. You just don't have to put excuses to yourself. Totally agree because I love how you are. You know, you set goal for yourself and then you go run for your goal. So I'm very, very proud of you on that. Yeah. You're very, very young. And then you say that. Why do you say that it's important to listen, uh, you know, to your own voice when you make a life changing decision? Why do you say that? Yeah, because I, I had a really difficult decision, uh, experience in, mm. like so many years ago. Because I was getting a little bit disturbed and I was hearing a lot of voices and comments and, and suggestions and and some people were telling me how to look, how to walk, what is, what was the best for me, what was my my the best path to follow and I took some bad decisions because of that, because mm. I wasn't here myself, I was hearing no. uh, other people's voices and I understood that in order to conquer my dreams, in order to be happy and the things that I wanted, the only voice I needed to hear was mine. Right. So when I understand, I, when I understood that, my life changed completely, and, wow. and I'm really, yeah, I'm more focused right now, and I'm happy for the life that I that I'm having today. Yeah, that's very very good. And I also heard that you know when you won the Miss. Uh, Universe Venezuela, your family was not there to witness that special event. Like, how hard was that for you? You're cutting off. Yeah. Hey, guys, I think her signal is a little bit, um, uh, you know, it's a little bit slow. So let's wait for her for her um, answer. But for the meantime, I just want to say hi to everyone who is watching. And then we have here people from Venezuela. Thank you for, uh, you know, thank you for tuning in today. And then we have a couple of people all the way from different countries who are watching right now as we speak. So right now, um, she look at her. She Isn't she lovely? Like, what can you say? Okay, what can you say about her beautiful personality and, only her, and also her beautiful face? Let me, like, bring her up again here on screen because I think her internet is a little bit slow. So let's see. Send requests. Okay, so let's try one more time. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I'm here at the beautiful, you know, parking lot of Beverly Hills. Uh, yeah, there you go. So here, because we are go, I'm going to have a dinner with somebody who's very, very. Oh, here you go. Hello. She's back. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Can you hear me now? I hear you very, very clearly. I see your beautiful face. So now, my question was. Um, how, you know, how hard was it for you that your family wasn't there to witness that special event? Yeah, the first thing, and uh, I was telling you that the first thing that it was difficult to accept was the idea of being crowned in a, in a different Miss Venezuela competition because it was right. really different as we all expected. It was really uh, new for us the new way to develop the competition and then watching myself being crowned at home alone because my family I... wasn't there with me because of the restrictions and the lockdown. Right. They were in my hometown right. and I was living in Caracas by that time. So right. um, it was really hard at the beginning, but they called me uh, a lot, most of the time and we were really, really connected using the, the platforms and and sending them videos and i had to record and film my my reaction to the uh -huh. winning, my winning yeah. reaction it, it really was, yeah i think i think i'm the the first beauty queen that saw herself being crowned without wearing high heels and, and oh wow and, yeah wow okay if you have to you know if you have two people that you can bring to florida for the miss universe event who are they and why Oh, there are only two? <laughs> so on your family, you're on your family. Yeah, on my family, definitely my mother and my sister. Mm -hmm. They are. They have been there for me like in my whole life and I'm so proud of, 
actually they are going to be there with me and I'm really happy because wow. this ring is not just mine, it's also theirs. So I'm really grateful for that. Wow, that's good. And you know, Maria Angel, Venezuela is considered like one of the most successful when it comes to beauty pageants, right? You guys have won your country. You guys have won seven crowns, you know, in, in the pageant yeah. industry. And that's very, very good. Like, you know, me watching, watching Miss Universe as a child, my perception of Miss Venezuela are all like you, like beautiful, tall, beautiful smile. So that's my perception because you guys are, uh, you know, um, like uh, on par when you got, when you guys are on stage. So now, like, uh, what can you say about, you know, do you have that pressure on you because uh, your country is like very successful in getting the pageant crown? I think we are successful not because we are beautiful or, or, or not just because of the physique, but because we have that beauty queen sense in our blood. It's, it's something ah. that I cannot explain, but it, uh -huh. it's part of our heritage, our tradition, right. our culture. So we as women, we grew up like wanting to become or to represent the beauty of our oh, country. So okay. it's something that it's more, it's, it's beyond just physical beauty, but also inner beauty. That it's what it really it. reflects on a stage. And I think Venezuela has that uh, particular power because it's, it's something that comes from the inside that we project when we are on a stage. And, and that is something that I, I've been working a lot. For me, it's, I've been, I don't feel pressured. I feel it's more like a big and a strong responsibility, but I think right. I can handle it very well. I'm totally agree i love it i love everything you said you know i know you know just speaking with you for a few minutes i know that you are going to represent your country really well you speak very good english you have a beautiful heart so kudos to you i cannot wait to meet you in florida thank you i'm i'm, I'm really excited to meet you too as well in florida yeah yes yes and also when uh, i go to venezuela where are you gonna bring me Oh my gosh, there are so many places that I could bring you, but I think the first thing that you should do here, have you ever eaten arepas? Arepas, I think I've tried uh, before, but long, long time ago. And then, um, is there any other place that you want to bring me? Yeah, I would love to bring you to, to our beautiful beaches. There are a lot of beaches to choose. And you will enjoy the, the, the hot sun and, and the climate, which is really really relaxing and but you will enjoy it. but definitely you have to try one of our best dishes and and that can be an arepa, a big 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 arepa wow thank you so much i cannot wait to try that and meet you in uh, florida uh, we will have a beauty day there where i will teach you guys how to uh, you know make your uh, skin even more beautiful not that they i'm saying that you don't have good skin but you have such a wonderful skin but i will even make it more glowing on stage how's that oh that sounds amazing i've been looking at your at your account and and scrolling some of the some of the products and i find some of them really interesting the ones that makes your skin really glowy I, yes. I think that would be great for us to, to show our skin on a stage. So I'm really excited for trying all the products. Yes, I cannot wait. On May 11, I'm going to hand it to you. And then one of them is a secret gold 24 karat Mary Angel. And then it will, when you apply it on the skin, you will have glowing skin the next day when you wake up. So I cannot wait to, oh you know, God. for you to try that. Yes, yes, yes. You're you're beautiful already, and you're even gonna be, you know, you're even gonna be more beautiful. So thank you so much for this opportunity. No, thank you, thank you. I, I'm so happy that I will meet you finally in just a few days. And I will also try a lot of your products because they they seem to be really really high quality wow thank you so much and for all the fans that who are watching right now i know you want more of her so let's go to my facebook olivia kidoko and then it will be on my you know uh check check it out on my story i posted my facebook account there so you will get to see her more 
like hear her hear her more and then i'm so excited because we're not done yet we will have some more fun questions for her so let's go to my facebook account thank you so yes. much marie angel you all on facebook